friends. How are you guys doing? I'm a little huffy puffy because today's one of those tremory days, but I am, I really got to work on my posture for seven of the last um, nine years. I've been pretty much curled up and uh, all my muscles in the in this area are still opening up so I'm having trouble with the posture but I have some rehab exercises for that and I'm gaining strength all the time and um, I instantly feel better when I sit up straighter it's just a matter of remembering to do it uh, when when you've been kind of a C for s seven years it becomes a challenge to be an I again and have a straight back. So that's one of the muscle groups that uh, needs some retoning. Um, I just wanted to update you guys because I've been so busy uh, um, and um, napping some too, but pretty busy with doing things. It's just <laughs> still the most miraculous thing. Yesterday, uh, you probably saw the post with shoe shopping and what an amazing thing that is. And I gotta tell you, I found the most comfortable, weather resistant, running, walking, exercise shoes. Um, I, I've never seen anything like them, but if you want to see what they're like, the company is called All Birds. It's one name, but all you gotta do is spell A-L-L -L and then add B-I-R-D-S. And uh, they're a little pricey. I think they were around $130 or $140 a pair. But you got to go look at them because they are an athletic shoe that looks darn like a nice pair of shoes. They're, all, they're made out of, not that it matters to me, I will use whatever I have to use to get uh, something that works for me. But these just happen to be all plant-based. Uh, they're made out of trees and rubber. <laughs> That's what they're made out of. So uh, anyway, it, for those who do worry about that kind of thing, great option. For those who don't, great option. Um, I'm sorry that sounds a little advertising-y, but when you run across something good like that, you got to share it with people. Um, so yesterday, shoe shopping and puttering and etc. Then this morning, for the first time, I I stripped my whole bed, and Circuit Rider did the sheets and then remade my bed, because in stripping the bed, I found out that the 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 puff on here probably weighs 18 pounds and it's outside my my lifting limit. But I kind of dragged it off the bed. I didn't really lift it at all. Anyway. All of that stuff, walking all around the bed a few times to to strip it and putting all the big nice big pillows somewhere else and I mean I I, I can do that as good as I as well as I was doing it uh, ten years ago um, anyway or you know even fifteen so that was fun and then. Uh, once the bed was all pulled back, pulled together, I pulled out all of my notebooks, all of my paperwork, all of the the um, got, uh, the cards and letters all sorted out. So those of you who have sent cards that I have not been able to talk with you yet to thank you for them, there's going to be thank you notes going out this week. So every single one was really special to me, but it was all I could do. <laughs> to keep up with just what was going on before I came home. And then of course, you know how it's been since then. Lots to do, not a lot of organization, really. But now I'm, I'm I, I haven't seen this girl for a long time, a long time. Uh, I, had, I had come to think that I didn't want you know that I didn't want to, to 
do the things to, to, to a certain extent, I didn't want to do the things that need to get done, but it wasn't not wanting to. It was not being able to, but I just kept on criticizing myself. Don't do that, people. If you don't enjoy or you can't do what you used to do, don't be a dummy like me and wait eight years to go to the doctor, okay? Um, because if you could do it before and you can't do it now, it's not just aging. It is not always just aging. Most of the time, if you're noticing a significant decline in what you can do, you got something wrong. Go get it just checked out. I could have avoided uh, years while I went from needing two liters of oxygen to needing, well, when I went from not needing oxygen to needing oxygen, which is, is basically, that was the time that I just went on my merry way. I went to the doctor when I absolutely had to, but I didn't bring up anything that might have ca caused them to look into anything. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling on that because you guys always, you, you already know um, how important that is, I think, just by following this story to get yourself checked out. And you don't, there's a philosophy of only going to the doctor when you need to. I did that. And I finally went in 2012 and I found out I had multiple things cooking that uh, I either ignored or weren't bad enough to, to take care of yet, or I didn't think they were. Anyway, yeah, soapbox, sorry about that. So, shoes, cleaned and organized my bedroom. That took about three hours and uh, because you know how chaotic it gets when you've got all this other stuff to do. Um, it wasn't bad before, but it's a whole lot, heck of a, heck of a whole lot better now. Uh, Cheryl and Russ got here today. They are taking over for Circuit Rider on Tuesday. He runs back to the East Coast for a board meeting, his missions board meets, and he's speaking to a youth group. I have to sit like this so my back stays straight. Uh, just, you know, some business things that he goes back east for um, now and again. And this is that 10 days that he's going to get that taken care of. And um, he's going to preach at uh, his home church on Sunday and it's uh, next Sunday. And it's going to be online. So when, as we get closer, I'll toss up a link if you want to see Circuit Rider um, give a message at church. Um, I'm biased, but I think he does a great job, a really great job, a really, really great job. So um, I'll let you know when that comes up. But uh, Russ and Cheryl are here until he gets back, maybe the day after that. And then they head back to Sacramento and the next time we will see them prob probably, we'll be on the way home to Oregon in a couple of months. But we all know how that goes. We plot and plan while, make, while God makes other, other decisions. So I don't know when we're gonna go because there's a big difference between uh, theoretical and real in that whole realm. And things can change on a dime, they really can. I might not need as much, I might need a little more rehab. We don't, just don't know how it will go. So um, I don't know if you noticed, yeah, unless you're uh, missing a few brain cells from some uh, legitimate reason. Um, well, I won't even say that because you're not. I know you're not. There's not a, no one among you who hasn't already noticed that my uh, I got the tripod going that my aunt Bev, uh, that my cousin Bev and Aunt Dottie got me, and um, so even though I'm a little tremory today, no tremors. All good, nothing bad. Everything is, you know, the thing, there are people I'm praying for, uh, a long list of them right now. So life is just not, you, you, it can have pain in it and there can be people that you're really concerned about 
and things going on in your life and others lives that might not make it a particularly happy time but it's always 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 joyful you know there's just you know you don't learn things unless you're challenged you don't understand life better unless you go through hard times so every day is a joyful day though the, although not all of them are going to be particularly happy just makes us better people Lord knows what he's doing I love you guys really a lot and uh, tomorrow maybe I'll do my video update out on the balcony where we can look at the palm trees and the water that would be nice wouldn't it we can get set up out there and give you a little dose of tropical and not share with you the fact that it's actually only 60 here but there's a hot tub I can't go in it the circuit rider loves it okay I love you we'll talk to you again soon bye bye and obviously still figuring out how to use the remote I'll get it <laughs>